See, that's what's happening. See, when you have been sodomized as a man, it's the same as if you were driving a, 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 a car full of gas. And you hit a big rock and, it, and it, it, it ruptures your gas tank and all the gas that spewed out on the ground. And now you, you see the, the car slowing down and, and puttering out and finally stopping because it lost fuel and power. That's what sodomy would do to you. It actually takes you and it ruptures you and it drains the life out of a man. You get that sunk in chest and that limp wrist and hey. Because you've been saying it knocks the, 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 the natural inclination to be masculine out of you and makes you into this docile, castrated eunuch that's controllable by the devil and his forces. That's what a man sodomizes you do. When a woman performs oral sex on you, it's like putting a hose in the gas tank and siphoning out the gas. And you slowly just disempower to being an effeminate guy. Same, same results now. One just takes longer than the other. Sodomize, you immediately rupture it and all the gas spews out. Oral sex and perversion, it just slowly is siphoned out. Any way you do it, you lose the gas in the tank and you can't run. The devil is after patriarchy and masculinity being drained out of society. So you got this docile, controllable, weak need, unwarlike environment that the men don't stand for anything. That's his goal for taking over. The Bible's plan. You first must bind a strong man before you can spoil the goods in any house. The devil's after the patriarchs to bind them so that he can move in to destroy says, bring them out that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after them and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. So it couldn't be them asking for him to, to bring them out to just introduce them that we might know them. What's wicked about? Bring them out that we might know them. And meet them, greet them, and welcome them to the city. Why is he calling them what they want to do wicked? Because he you know these are a bunch of sodomites. You got to wonder what you're doing sitting up in the midst of them. And, and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold, I have, I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you and do you to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing, for therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. Now look what Lot had become. He'd offer up his own daughters to sodomites. His own daughters. Going to bring them out and do, do them any kind of way you want to. There's a lot of mysteries in this, in this particular text about all this. Look at this. He says, And they said, Stand back. And they said, Again, this one fellow came in to sojourn and he, will, he needs to be a judge. Now will we deal worse with you than with them? And they pressed sore upon the man, even a lot, and came near to break the door. Now that's the reality of sodomites. Sodomites are ravaging, cruel killers. When this veil is lifted off of these folk down here, you're going you're gonna to see come out of this thing what they really are as opposed to how they try to look. You wait till God moves in finality to, and shows himself strong. You watch the reaction the world is going to come forth with. You watch the reaction the church folk going to come out with and preachers who are sodomites. They're going to come out of this thing, man, like a, like a mad raven in wolves. I can walk in the church this morning and say, look, everybody here that's married, single, whatever you are, if you engage in oral sex, you are damned to hell. You, you watch the rage that'll come out of that crowd toward me. Called the preacher doing it, the folk doing it, the choir member doing it. You, you'll see a, a rage come out from amongst the sodomites. Strange how that's kept so strangely quiet in church. Called folk doing it. If you're a practitioner in oral sex, you are damned as a sodomite. Oral sodomy is still on the books in even Georgia as illegal. That's sodomy. Illegal entry into an orifice not designed for the activity. You are being sodomized and damned to a lake of fire for it. And folk just staying strangely quiet and singing praise songs to Baal by practicing sodomy and calling Baal Jesus. See the Bible says no man can call Jesus Lord but by the Holy Ghost. But you know what people read that as? They believe that means hey if you said Jesus is Lord, you must have the Holy Ghost. Mm. That ain't what he's saying. <laughs> you can say Jesus is Lord, but you're not lawfully calling him Lord unless you got the Holy Ghost saying it. See, it ain't about 
if you say it, you got the Holy Ghost, is that he don't recognize it if you say it unless you got the Holy Ghost. See, the devil can say Jesus is the Lord all day. But then the Bible comes back and says there's another Jesus, another, another gospel, and another spirit. So, so you take the scripture and the scripture must be modified and amplified by another scripture. So folk thinking, well, I see people in deliverance say, oh, okay, say Jesus is Lord. The person says, Jesus is Lord. Oh, they, they are right. They are right. They ain't the devil because they, they can say Jesus is Lord. You a fool. You a fool. You, they'll say Jesus is Lord all day, but they're illegal because they're not by the Holy Ghost. Another gospel, another spirit. Another Jesus walking around down here. See, what Jesus are you naming? He says you don't know them by verbal confession. You know them by their fruit. Is that the character of Jesus? Is that the nature of Jesus? Is that the appetite of Jesus? Is that, uh, is that the real Jesus of the Bible being revealed? How are you going to be a fornicator, a liar, a thief, a murderer, a killer, an abortionist talking about Jesus? You got folk fornicating, singing songs in the choir every Sunday morning. You, you sing to the devil. That's a devil singing to the devil for the devils in the congregation. That's right. This thing ain't like we think. We've been hoodwinked and deceived by the devil sitting in church on our way to hell. And you know it's a rare thing to be pulled off to the side to hear what I'm saying right yes. now. Yes. If God got to come get you himself to pull you off to see this, to hear this. And then it's supernatural for your mind to be able to even ingest it and accept it. Because you'll find when you've been in, in, just in, ingrained in religion, it's going to be a natural resistance to the truth. That's right. Something in you is going to try to say, well that's too far. Maybe it's, it's going to be that thing in you that hung up like... I don't know. I, I, you've been sodomized. You've been sodomized through illegal entry by a preacher. He didn't come through your spirit. He came through your soul. That spiritual sodomy. If you have a preacher come to you through your soul, your emotions, your feelings, your desires, your intellect, void of your spirit, he has come through illegal entry and you've been sodomized. So you're going to have a natural inclination to resist the truth of God that's coming to your spirit to tell you the truth. It's ugly, man. This ain't nice. I don't preach no nice, cute, sweet type stuff, man. This is a raw dog, knock down, drag out warfare against an adversary that means business. And you got to come at him just like he come against you. These boys are about to drag these angels down the street and sodomize them like dogs. Something in you is going to try to say, well, that's too far. Maybe it's, it's going to be that thing in you that hung up like... I don't know. I, I, you've been sodomized. You've been sodomized through illegal entry by a preacher. He didn't come through your spirit. He came through your soul. That spiritual sodomy. If you have a preacher come to you through your soul, your emotions, your feelings, your desires, your intellect, void of your spirit, he has come through illegal entry and you've been sodomized. So you're going to have a natural inclination to resist the truth of God that's coming to your spirit to tell you the truth. It's ugly, man. This ain't nice. I don't preach no nice, cute, sweet type stuff, man. This is a raw dog, knock down, drag out warfare against an adversary that means business. And you got to come at him just like he come against you. These boys are about to drag these angels down the street and sodomize them like dogs if I can get to them. 